Hello, my darling little bookworms. I'm glad to have you back. Well, we're going to read a great story today, as always, but the first thing that we need to do, and you know what it is, is run and get your listening hat. So I'm gonna count to three while you do so. Remember, the last time we wore our listening hats, so we put it in a safe place so we wouldn't forget where it is. So I'm gonna count to three and you're gonna run and get it, and by the time I get to three, you should be back ready to go. One, two, three. All right, my little bookworms, I got a great one for you today. But first, it's time to get on your listening hat. I'm assuming you've got it, now put it on. And you know what that means? It's time for quiet time, so we don't miss any of the story. So I have a really great book today. It's called The Snurch. And I thought it'd be really fun. Every time we talk about The Snurch, we make a snurchy like face and scary. So let's practice. Snurch, snurch, snurch. You decide what your snurch looks like while we read. And I'll let you know when it's time. You'll see a little something going on the screen. Let's get started. But first I have to put on my seeing eyeglasses so that I can see the words. So now I have on my listening hat, so I'll listen to the story. And my seeing eyeglasses so I can see the words of a snurch. This book is written by Sean Farrell and pictures are by Charles Santoso, which we know what pictures mean. That means illustrated, right? Ruthie has a problem at school. It's not the students. It's not the classroom. It's not the reading or the writing or the math. What do you think it is? It's the snurch. <laughs> Teacher says, Ruthie, please take your seat. There is her seat. And there is the snurch. Georgia's drawing. Teacher says, Ruthie, that's not okay. Was it me, said Ruthie? It was the snurch. No one has a life difficult as Ruthie. Ten whole minutes later, Ruthie tries to draw something pretty or cute or happy, but all that comes out of her crayons is unhappy scribbles. Snurch is no help. Ruthie looks really hard at the snurch. Ruthie draws. Our class ends. 
students and teacher asks if anyone would like to share. No one is more surprised than Ruthie when she stands up. No one accepts the snurge. I will, says Ruthie. shows the class her drawing and her classmates look. It's what throws our pencils, says someone. It's what makes weird noises, says another. It's what drew on my drawing, said George. Ruthie knows that the snurch wants to run away and hide. I'm sorry about that, says Ruthie. That's okay, says George, and I like your drawing. And then another kid says the same, and another and another until everyone agrees. Ruthie has drawn a wonderful snurch. Ruthie likes school. She likes the students. She likes the classroom. She likes the reading and the writing and the math. And Ruthie still has a snurch. The snurch is still scribbly and scrunchy. The snurch is still burpy and grabby and rude. But the snurch also listens sometimes. And sometimes the snurch is even sorry. And as hard as it can be to sit next to the snurch, Ruthie realizes she's not alone. George has one too. Oh. I like drawing, says Ruthie. Thanks, says George. Look at everybody. They have their very own snurch. I bet you have a snurch. What I think is the snurch is our bad side. When we are naughty, that's what our snurch is. So I couldn't tell you in the beginning, but I wrote this book for, no, no, I read this book for my granddaughter, Aurora. She definitely has a snurch. I hope you enjoyed it because I sure did. It made me laugh reading through it, knowing that when my little granddaughter is naughty, it's just her snurch coming out. Have a great day, you guys. Make sure to hit the like button at the bottom and find me on Facebook for all of our live videos that we have as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that I can keep making great videos for you and you get updates on brand new ones each time I make one. Thanks again for your support and have a beautiful day.